Hi Steve, so I wanted to get something in front of you um, before the end of the week, uh, which is what I promised to do. I may not have time to price this, I've got about an hour left, less than an hour um, this week, and then I'm actually having a proper weekend. Um, but let's get into what I've got so far. Um, basically I filled the walls with lots of storage um, that's going to be relatively inexpensive and the other areas i've used to demonstrate how else we could treat any of any of the uh, areas we've got to work with um, so first of all let's look at behind the door now i don't have this area accurately modelled so if you could tell me that depth of wall there from the start of the door opening to um, this wall that would be useful to know um, also the depth of this reveal um, into the doorway and the length of the door they're not things I recorded when I was there but it would be good to know those three things just so I can work out the swing of this door accurately um, so what we've got in this area is basically flat stuff that hopefully won't clash with the door um, when the door is swinging open. Oh, I'm just looking at my notes. Yes, the door does swing into that space, so we do need to address that. Uh, over on the back wall, and again, these things could go anywhere. They could go in any of these storage areas at the side in the other bays. I've just shown a simple storage but I wanted to show you some other Alpha products. We've got um, a storage board here. Um, you can put all sorts of clips, hooks, cups, tubs, really clever little bits and pieces that um, you could put on there for sort of, you know, storing uh, household items you need in a hurry, like you know, fuses, blue tacks, staples, whatever. Same for these shallow trays here 100 millimeter deep shelf trays they also sell a tub that fits nicely onto those great for storing just odds and sods batteries whatever that you're going to need in a hurry um, i've shown a melamine shelf here which i've shown a 400 deep one could be 500 millimeters deep they also make a metal work surface in this sort of size that uh, again just you know if you've got to do a little bit of hammering or sorting out or mending something changing batteries a little bit of a surface there could be useful um, over here this is a, a basket shelf it's basically everywhere else I've shown flat wire shelves but Alpha also make a 300 millimeter deep and a 400 millimeter deep basket shelf it's a wire shelf with a hundred millimeter upstand at the back and front really useful for sort of folded items um, you can get dividers so you can you can cap these ends and create divisions really good for cleaning products um, you know bottles that you need to stand up um, very good for folded items if you have them in a wardrobe I've also shown a little area of hanging here all of these lengths here can accommodate hanging if we create space below them by removing some shelves and having a rail up high very easy to do we could also create waist height hanging by having a rail um, off a shelf at waist height finally I've shown a storage track so in addition to the storage board Alpha make a storage track which can hold um, you can put broom handles, um, shovels, all sorts of things will fit in, you know, hoover necks will fit into these tool holders. They make two different diameters and a variety of hooks. I've shown relatively small hooks there, but this storage track will also accommodate hooks that are strong enough for bicycles and, you know, pretty robust items. So pulling back into the garage again at the moment I've just shown flat shelving um, if I stop talking I will be able to chuck out a quick 2d and maybe even some pricing next week 
Um, let's talk or get together. Um, I get, it's very easy to pop over and talk about these designs with some schemes on hand. And we'll be able to move this on rapidly from this point. Okay, thanks for listening.